Hey everybody, this is a very impromptu video from the bread box. I've only just finished watching the video from the 8-bit show and tell. There's a link in the description below. Awesome video, you must watch it. What Robin does on that video is he gets an Easter egg of Commodore code from a vinyl record from Protocol. The Electric Eye was the album. Really, really good video. Really worthwhile watching. Recommend it. But while I was watching it, I noticed the process that Robin was doing. He played the the song on the record player. He recorded that code onto his computer, and then he adjusted it on Audacity, and then he recorded it onto a brand new audio cassette, which I thought was pretty incredible in itself. And then he played it in his data set. When I was watching that process, I was thinking he could have used one of these and used his record player as a data set player and played the program straight from the record player to his Commodore 64. It plugs into your Commodore 64 and the audio plugs into here. As they were mucking around, seeing if people wanted to play games for their Commodore 64 on CD. And here's their first try at putting Commodore 64 games onto a CD. Very simple process to play Commodore 64 games on your CD player. I'll show you how to do it right now. So first of all, you need to have a CD player. I've got my trusty old CD Walkman. And you just need a cable to run a course from the CD player to this little adapter. I've made sure the Commodore 64 is turned off. Plug the little adapter into your Commodore 64. And then plug the cable into the adapter. And, uh, well, try to. Well, this is harder than it looks when you're actually holding a camera. I'll try again. Yay! Okay, it's in. At the other end, you've just got a standard normal audio connection which plugs back into the headphone jack of your CD player. Turn on the Commodore 64. Awesome. It all works still. Turn on the CD player, which I probably should have turned on first. And to start playing games on a CD, just like starting a tape, Shift run stop, press play onto the CD player, and it'll soon kick in. There we go. And just wait for the magic to happen. So in theory, I, I, this, I would say this would work also using the record player directly to the Commodore 64. There we go, it's found the CD edition. And uh, pretty much it runs at the same sort of speed as a tape deck, maybe a little bit faster, I'm not too sure. So it's still plodding along, 35 seconds into it. Actually, I think this would be a lot, a lot faster actually. And right now what, what we're doing is loading the menu from Rainbow Arts. And there's 10 games on this particular CD. So we're, we're going to scroll down to Load Runner. I love playing Load Runner, it's an awesome game. Just press enter, or sorry, return. Okay, it's telling us to go to track nine on the CD. So we just fast forward through the tracks. Press spacebar. Just wait for a few more seconds. Yeah, it's definitely a lot faster than a tape deck. Here we go, load runner. As simple as that. Stop the uh, CD. So this, this is how the Rainbow Arts released this adapter and the CD. 
10 classic games that can be played on any CD player with your Commodore 64. And it all goes through this little adapter. I'll just turn off the Commodore 64. And these little adapters are really easy to make. And um, if you want to, if you want me to show you how to make one in, the, in a future video, just let me know. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you watch that awesome video from 8-Bit Show and Tell. That